Um, yeah, they, I mean, they, they've they told me that they would like me to try to shoot more threes as opposed to long twos, but that I have the green light to shoot long twos because historically I've shot them at a pretty good clip. Um, so, you know, sometimes you go through, a, you know, a four or five game stretch where you can shoot nine or ten threes a game, you know. But then there's stretches where you have a bunch of Chicago games where you get three three looks off. You know, it's just that's just the cycle of the season. Um, you know, I know I, I think I set a career high for threes attempted last year. It'd be great if I could break that this year. You know, I, I think that would that would mean our our offense is humming. I remember the uh, Miami series last year. It seemed like there was a lot of hand to hand combat. And that might be playoff basketball. Do you think the new rules during the movement? Um, I think it's too early to tell. You know, I'm watching. I watched two of Denver's games, and I mean, look. You know, they called Clay for one foul on the Gary Harris handoff with Jokic, which is similar to our action. You know, with me and, me and uh, Joe. And I watched it last night. They didn't get that call last night against LA. I mean, I, I, I still think it's physical at times. I, I think the uptick in scoring. I, you know, I think offenses are smarter and defenses are dumber. I got to limit my quotes today, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> Do you attribute any of that scoring to the 14 second re? I, I don't, I have to look at the data for that. I'm more talking about just sort of the flow of the game, like, you know, strategy. You know, I, I, we were talking about it the other day, and like, I think there's like, uh, obviously there's uh, historical trends, right? So scoring and pace have gone up year over year over year. Um, but then there's sort of the, the micro trends, and I think what inevitably happens is, you know, the defense makes an adjustment, you know, and, and then the offense makes an adjustment for the defense, and the defense goes vice versa. And I think you're seeing sort of, you know, a defensive adjustment here in the last two or three years, and now the offense has, has sort of figured it out. You know, if you can get a guy who can go downhill and score at the rim and you put four shooters around them, you know, it's, it's tough to guard. Um, Players have evolved. You see a guy like Brooke Lopez. He's evolved. It makes it hard to guard. Well, as far as here is concerned, uh, Ben was mentioning that you guys switched up some of the defensive concepts from last year. Uh, why do you think that happened when you guys were a very solid defensive team last year? I wouldn't say. I, you know, yeah, I think maybe there's more small tweaks. Um, I think the the goal in the long run of whatever tweaks we've made is sort of to you know, be be better in the playoffs. Um, you know, prepare sort of for that that long term uh, outlook. Um, you know, I, I think we'll be fine defensively. JJ, you, you guys have been having some lineup switches, and you're dealing with new people coming in. How much has that affected kind of the early going? And then you add into that, Ben has to take a couple nights off. Now Joe might be out. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, again, uh, you're going to have five game stretches where you go two and three or even one and four. I mean, that's just uh, even good teams. Uh, they have those stretches. Um, I think some of it probably is, you know, us not really carrying anything over from last year. And, you know, I don't know why that is, but, you know, some of it could be Ben in and out of the lineup, a new starting lineup. Uh, you know, integrating Mike, you know, hopefully soon integrating Wilson, integrating Landry. And so, you know, we're, we're, we're figuring things out. Um, it's not an excuse, but it's just the nature. You know, we're not we're not in a flow and a rhythm like we were as we finished last regular season and, and you know, going into that into that Boston series. So, you know, it's five five games, four preseason games, basically two weeks of practice. You know, it's, it's going to take some time. You know, it's Christmas last year. We were 14 and 18 going into our our game against New York. So, um, you know, we, we've got to just kind of have that, that long-term approach while still trying to get better. You mentioned, yeah, you mentioned Jokic, and as a fan of Denver, who do you think that what he's able to do with Gary Harris and just his ability to, to assist jump shots is similar to what you all has kind of been able to do with what you two right um, Yeah, I mean, they're obviously they're different players. Um, and... You know, Jokic for I think 
passing, I think, is I think average the most assists ever as a center. I mean, he, he's he's elite at that. I think Joe has grown and he's shown really really good steps in that this year. Um, and in terms of the two man stuff, I mean, yeah, I think that's you know. I, Again, I think that's the goal of any offensive action is sort of put the defense in a bind and where they have to make decisions is the big step up and leave Joe to roll. Do they switch and put a guard on a, on Joe? Um, you know, there's, you know, do they overplay me and let me back cut? I, you know, there's, there's, that's that's the goal of an offensive action and that two-man game with him creates, uh, creates some decisions. All right, thanks, Thank guys. you, Jay.